This is NAB Show Live. We're here in the afternoon at NAB on Monday. My name is Curtis Chandler with Broadcast B, and I'm here with David Salek, the CTO of M&E for Panassas. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Curtis. Glad to have you come over. All right, thank you very much for your time. So, Panas is always showing something new and innovative at every show that we've been to for a very, very long time. So at this show, tell me a little bit about what you're showing at this show and kind of explain to me in regard to the application, mm -hmm. right? What uh, the actual solution base that you're addressing in terms of industry challenge, yep. and a little bit about the benefit side. Sure thing. So Panasis has been in business for about 15 years. We make a clustered scale-out NAS product called Active Store, and our product is engineered to be able to provide high performance for large aggregate work teams that need to work on common data sets together. So the thing that we've noticed in the marketplace this year is there's a desire to ensure that. Common tools are validated, but are, can they be displayed using um, unusual concepts and media tools to be able to show uh, a different way to be able to get production done? So in our booth, we're focused on being able to show um, Adobe tools, Blackmagic tools on the DaVinci side, as well as stitching tools on the Mac side, all working collaboratively on VR content. So there's two things we get as a part of that. These are everyday tools, first of all, working with access to Panassas Active Store, and they're accessing us either via high-performance SMB on the Windows side, or our direct flow, parallel protocol on Linux and Mac. And that is a unified block and file access to common data sets. And we're just, we decided to step up and make it more challenging by throwing VR workloads at it. So you can see behind me that we've got a lot of elements that are going into the stitching element, the assembly and focus, process of the VR side using built-in capabilities for the new 2018 uh, Creative Studio release from Adobe, as well as new release capabilities on Blackmagic DaVinci, uh, as well as Fusion on the graphics side. So we think this stitches together really well to show new innovative ways to work with different kinds of media, but the same everyday tool sets everyone depends on every day here at the NAB show. That's very good. So VR and AR certainly are, is a very, very growing and very pro pro progressive uh, market application going on, right? And I'm assuming for Panassas, this is a growth vertical that you're specifically looking to address, that one would hope fairly soon at this point, if not now, right? Already now. So yeah. we're working with content supplied by one of our customers, Cal Academy of Sciences out of San Francisco, and they've got a lot of content they've already provided with us. So they have one of the largest uh, full immersive dome experiences in North America located in San Francisco. So they render all of their content that they produce and capture on Panassas today. So they are using multiple 8K projectors in their theater environment. We're very pleased to be working with Cal Academy to take portions of that demo and have it here on the NEB floor. So they've already told us and guided us, here's the production things that we need to do with media today. We're using tools like Nuke and Maya to be able to render and process these um, 4K and 8K VR elements and get that displayed today. We also have other customers approaching us with actual production jobs that are in the VR space. So we're seeing a critical mass occur inside the marketplace where it's no longer a toy concept. There's legitimate revenue opportunities to be made by adding VR content to the toolkit of producers and studio content uh, makers um, as they reach out to those customers using new engagement processes at malls and other um, engagement facilities where it's very much a one-to-one -one engagement personalized experience, uh, but they need to be able to make that content and extend what they have in 4K into the VR and AR space. So we're very excited to work with these customers today. So good, so uh, for the M&E side, is there any other industry trends that you're actually seeing right now? And if so, if there are specific pain points that Panassas is addressing, what may they be? Well, a pain point we're seeing in the marketplace is how do we interpret the right way to consider where does AI and ML, so artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques, there's several of these being displayed at the floor, but there's a bit of a syntax concern, which is what's the right definition for the tool that I'm looking at if I'm looking at something that's really what we would call machine learning. And that's an optimization process, using compute power to do analytic operations against data in order to determine can I optimize a process and make it 10 or 15% better. That's a very much a machine learning scenario and we're seeing a lot of that on display here. The confusion comes toward, is that AI? And I would posit for you that what we're seeing here is, uh, like the demo we have, so our partner Integer One has a emotion content decision engine that they've developed and we're showing here at our booth. What it does is it allows you to be able to plot across a spider chart and other emotional data points, emotional resonance on content. And what it comes down to is, 
can it help humans make more informed decisions to green light content creation on program, whether that's advertising, studio productions, uh, episodic television, or film. And this tool is really cool because it empowers the individuals at the executive level and at the writing level to make better informed decisions, whether they're creating a comedy and trying to compare against uh, very popular products in the recent past, uh, or they want to do historical diagramming and go, I've written this show, where does it match up against and what can I get the emo emotional resonance measurement on in order to say, this needs more work or this hits the ex emotional time points across a time frame in exactly the way I want. And in fact, it's going to be a breakthrough hit and I need to green light that. So we're very excited to work with Energy one and show that tool here at NAB as well, because it empowers humans to make better decisions. That's what AI can do. That's really great. So to wrap it up, for attendees wanting to come over to Panassas, right, David, where should they go? Where's your booth? We're located in South Lower, so if you come up across on the tram uh, into the NAB show on the outside, you're going to find our banner is outside the South Lower, the right side of the entire convention center, and come in that door and head to 12108. So we're in the back half, past the stairs on South Lower Hall, and we've got a half dome where we're showing a immersive VR experience without having to wear the headset equipment. We're also showing the full assembly of the tools on Mac, Linux, and Windows, showing full production of VR content using everyday tools. We'd love to have you come by. Great, thank you very much.